Hello and welcome back for the last nine holes of the tournament here for the 2024 Norway Open, third stop of the DGPT Europe. We have some MPO lead card action for you guys. My name is Maxim Tange, your host, and with me, Andrew Gum. So wonderful to be here on MDG Media Coverage, Norway Open. What a beautiful country and a great disc golf scene. We're seeing some excellent action too. Clay Edwards just in his element here. Like home, man. He was mentioning it during the pre-event show, but yeah, it looks like home and he, he proves it. Pretty Masterclass nice. performance, just really putting on a clinic. Incredible show. Yeah, 22 down. I'm pretty sure seven strokes ahead of Silverlat solo second. And then we have a tie third between Dennis Augustin, Jakub Semerad and Lauri Lettinen. So pretty good fight with Timu Talikanen and Yalte Jensen in the chase just behind them. One or two strokes to fight with. Yeah. A lot of players in contention to, uh, to fight for the podium. It's going to be pretty exciting. Same kind of uh, storyline as we were seeing at the end of the front nine as the FPO field. First spot is pretty secured, and then we have an amazing fight behind. Yeah, a ton of guys battling for those podium positions and really valuable uh, disc golf pro tour points. Yeah. Here we are, hole 10, what a beauty. Par 335 meters, lush grass all through this fairway. Beautiful wooded hole, a little bit downhill all the way, awesome tee pad and everything. Everything is perfect and, uh, and perfect action on this hole 10 to open up the back nine. Yeah. So let's see how they handle the situation. Slightly downhill all the way to the basket. Silver ripping on a forehand. Skipping it up. Oh, nice. Hits a backstop tree. He's going to have a birdie look. That was a fantastic drive right there. Yeah, good drive from Silver. This one averaging under par today, so players starting to figure it out. Really impressive to get, get some birdies on this one. 2.93 average today. Look at this. What the? He's right up there. Come on, park job for Clay. Amazing. That's fantastic. See what Lowry can do. Nice. Maybe just a little bit too left side, but it's fighting, battling strong. He'll have a chance. Circle two, anyway. Yeah, and now the fight is on for Jakub Lauri Silver. That's going to be tough. They need to keep the pace. They need to take birdies on those last nine holes to fight for that podium. Pretty nice move here. A little bit stable at the end, but all the way up. Yeah, high. need a bit, a bit more turn. Let's see C2 action for Jakub. Looking to spin one in here. Come on. Looks good. Oh, oh real good. amazing putt from C2. Wow. And super deep. Yeah, and that was clutch with this podium battle heating up. He knew he needed it, and he drilled it in the heart. Well-deserved replay. Let's check it from the catch angle. And that's a perfect angle. There you go. Perfect spinning putt. Love this. <laughs> Seems pretty casual for yeah, him. Yeah, not much reaction. Every day walk in the park for the world putting champion. He's made a few of those in his day. Lowry now. Dropping Ooh. one in from long range too. Great highlights. Man. Beautiful hole, beautiful place, beautiful putts. And Silver joining the party too. Is this going to be a star frame here? That's going to be a star frame on the Can hole Can you believe 10? it on this hole? What the Man, heck? 135 meters through the woods. That's something special right there we just saw. Well played from the lead card, man. Way to start off this back nine. Yeah, some amazing put putting skills from Lauri and Jakub. But uh, please, we won't forget about Clay's, again, super easy birdie. Oh, man, <laughs> jump started my hit. heart. Almost forgot I've been up all night. That was crazy. <laughs> Feeling good. Amazing action on this opening hole. Yeah, par four, 189 meters on hole 11. This one uh, averaging right at par today. It's uh, 4.01. You can see there's quite a few trees in the fairway. OB on the right side doesn't come into play a whole lot. But um, yeah, another nice disc golf hole in the yeah. woods. 
and averaging just the bar pretty nicely designed and it looked pretty easier during the practice round it's just a bomber out of the teapad and then try to fight with uh, all those gaps yeah the trees are quite spread out on this one so you really gotta find a line all the way up there and it's possible to get some rough kicks silver got caught up didn't exactly see where it finished but somewhere on the left side i believe clay smooth and one through the main part of the gap never a doubt about any trees on that one well played yeah. Do He's you on see fire. any sign of slowing down or any pressure? Not at all. Nothing. He is so in the moment, so present, just focused on the shot at hand, not, you know, stressing about anything, doesn't seem like. Not making any mistakes, really, no. either. I mean, how long has he been clean now? I don't I can't know, remember man. the last bogey. I don't know. I'm not Somewhere even sure. round he, one. Yeah, and he was not into uh, any feature on the, the first round, so let's see. Yeah, it's pretty have, interesting. Have a little peep at it. So round one. He had two bogeys on the first round, I'm pretty sure. And I'm pretty sure it was early in the round. So it's been a long stretch without any mistake, score-wise. Yeah, hole 10, round round one was the last bogey he had. So just two bogeys on the whole event so far, and it's been... It's wow. 37 holes without any bogey. Man, good math. That was quick. Major. Major. Smart man. That is some serious disc golf that guy is playing. Yeah. In these woods with all the OB stuff too. Impressive. Island, island holes, you know, like hazards. Like, wow. And you're into deep Norwegian woods. Anything can happen. We saw it with uh, all the other players that were yeah. on our coverage since uh, the start of the weekend. It cannot be understated how impressive this performance is from Clay Edwards. Like, this is a breakout. Yeah, definitely. Breakout showing from him here. And we can't forget about, you know, the win he had last week. So it's two in a row. If he makes this happen, it's probable. Yeah. Let's wait until the end. Jakub, forehand approach. Putting a nice move on it. Yeah. That'll be a look. Good nice up. One. Good up. Forehand up shot from Jakub Semerad. Clay here for another birdie. Come on. And oh. that would be a turkey if I don't mistake myself. He made a birdie on the last hole on the front nine. Yeah. Everything is there. Sweet camera angle, sweet putt on that one. This is just so fun to watch, man. And so much green, man. Yeah. Everybody's uh, heating up right now. Yeah, but what can you do? I mean, he's, he's miles in front and he just won't slow down. Yeah, Can't but stop, we were stop. we were mentioning it. mentioning it, but you know, the three other guys really need to keep the pace if they don't want Dennis or anybody you know in the chase car to come back at them, exactly. and they are doing the job also. So pretty impressive for the moment. Yeah, it's pretty clear now that this is a, a race for those second and third places on the podium. Yeah, Clay just marching towards a massive victory here, the biggest of his career, without a doubt. Yeah, let's enjoy. Clay, uh, clay plays, and then we just focus on the, the yep. second and third spot. Yeah, that's that's imperative now. And look at those look at scorecards, guys. man. They're not eight birdies. This this back nine is bonkers. We got two star frames in a row. Let's go, man. Let's bomb two oh, star frames. Wow, Incredible impressive stuff. performance. Let's go, hole 12, 98 meters, slightly downhill, kind of a straight shot to the basket. The only thing you need to take care of are those last gardens protecting the basket. Nothing major, no B, nothing. And the perfect shot would be, yeah, dead straight at the start and then let letting a slight fade do the job to be part. Yeah, definitely a really nice shaped righty backhand straight shot with just a little touch of fade at the end. Really beautiful green. Might want to put on your mosquito spray at the tee pad here, because once you get back in there, it's uh yeah. Maybe the only problem <laughs> in the north, you know, in Scandinavia in general, a lot of mosquitoes. And again, silver bullseye hit, park job. Wow, it's gonna be a turkey to open up. Just lace that, really nice. He's back nine. Here we are. Clay now. 
A bit high, but good line. Yeah. Come on, miss it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's going to be a probable fourth birdie in a row for our US friend. Lowry. Oh, Ooh. super early release and a harsh kick to the left. What? Takes off his hat. He's not happy with that one. That was such an early release. You rarely see him miss the line that much. So, yeah, that's surprising. A little bit out of sorts here. Yakub. Oh, yeah. Surprising amount of ground play. Huge groundwork. Oh, and look at this. Now he's so far out of position. He's on a wood pile and like back on hole 11. Going for a grenade. Pulling out serious tricks. This would be a wild scramble if he's able to get up to the basket. He's so far out of position, it's hard to even state. Oh. Pretty good effort. I mean, you not know. sure exactly where it's at, but he's up on the green somewhere. Those grenades are so freaking dangerous for the catch cams. What a weapon, yeah. <laughs> it's so dangerous, so hard. You don't you don't see it coming. Jakub, after getting some excessive ground play, stretched out on a knee, doing everything he can to get a look at the basket, even though he's close, and spins it in there beautifully. Nice one. First turkey. And we are about to have two others. And a good scramble, good save from Lowry. Yeah, great save from where he was. That was just bogeyville. Yeah. And he just grenaded himself way out of it. Right Crazy up save, man. We need to mention it. Yeah. Really nice. Heck of a scramble. And there you have it. Yeah, and silver. Oh, and that's a bogey for Lowry. Did we miss something? Oh. Maybe we missed something. We might have missed his first putt. Yeah, possibly. You might have had you might have pitched out quickly when he got up there. And scoreboard check. Dennis Augustson now tied fourth with Lauri Lettinen. Towards the playoff. Oh my goodness! That just happened. Insane, man. man. What a turn happened. of events here. Hammer time. We got 41 feet for Gossage. Now this is a straight up death putt here. It's a game of inches. Portland Open champion, Adam Hannes. What a show these guys put on for us today. On two hole 13, another super straight shot. Averaging below the par, par three. You know what, as usual on this course, try to hit your line, just avoid those three trees on the right side, middle of the fairway, right here on the drone shot. And then just go for the basket. This is, you know, not the hardest, not the easiest. Yeah, 2.92, so somewhere there in the middle. You want to just try to pipe something straight up through the middle there and hope you miss those big trees that exactly. are about, about two-thirds of the way down the fairway. Silver going around oh, the right side of them, yeah. sneaking through. Exactly, going through those trees, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah, he went dead center between all those. And Clay keeping going with the calm walk through the woods. Just so at ease, super chill. Oh, okay. Cut by a tree in the end, sometimes it happens. It's the first time we haven't seen him have a birdie look in quite some time. Yeah. You're right. But still, no danger of a bogey in that position or anything. He didn't miss it that much. Just hit one of those trees that's in the middle of the fairway. So yeah, not, just a, not a bad miss at all. Just a short, short up shot for Clay, and now Lowry with a pure. Oh, oh going through! Wow! On <laughs> a good boot. Yeah. On the nice. ground, it will be an easy birdie for him to get back the stroke she he just lost. Yakub, solid approach. Might it might have even hit the koozie there or just yeah, in front of it? Almost. Hunting the chains. Good approach, good control on this forehand. Clay. Butterfly nice. style. Oh my god. Great good touch. Control. Stand still. 
right over the top of the basket. Gave it a chance. Man, loving it. Super skill. Oh, nice one. Deadly. And the four birdies, fourth birdies in a row. Amazing. Great bounce back from Lowry. He's still in the hunt for this second second uh, place spot. Just two back from Silver. Yeah. Or is it three? Come on. Yeah, it's three strokes. He's tied fourth right now. And Silva solo second. Jakub solo third. Dennis there in the mix as well on a heater. Yeah, we have some gaps created between those players now. Let's see. And hole 14 now, par 5. Hardest hole on the course, I'm pretty sure, for the round. 285 meters. First shot is an uh, hyzer release, trying to make your disc turn and get flat to arrive in a yeah, pretty spread landing zone where you'll be able to attack for second placement shot. And yeah, to go for a third one and uh, attack the basket from there, it's it's smart golf on this one, you know. Yeah, yeah, you just got to be controlled with your disc and uh, stick to the game plan here. You don't want to try to bite off too much or you're going to get yourself in trouble. And you can see that crazy forehand line from Silva. Is he able to do the same as yesterday? Amazing shot again. That's exactly where you need to land, sweet spot. There's not a whole Perfect. lot of guys that can do that shot. So, yeah. I mean, it's quite a quite a pleasure to watch. I don't know, man. Like That's this. definitely a back-end option. And he's just going for a forehand. He doesn't really care about theory. Just, That's exactly what you need to go for. And that's looking amazing. Oh, yeah. That's Massive perfect. distance. Center cut fairway. Beautiful stuff there. So powerful and so accurate. Through the woods, all the way up there. Clay sitting at 25 down. Okay. Is it's right going to be... Side. yeah. Yeah, he's going through. It worked. A bit of luck. Yeah. Not not bad position considering it looked like he missed the line a little bit on the right side, but Yeah, the the release was okay. I'm pretty sure it's just a matter of yeah. Two meters more left, it would it would have been perfect, and that's a good shot also from Jakub. Mm, huge skip. Skips a bit much. It Curl. doesn't happen often. Weirdly on the on this fairway kind of a tricky place over there now. Yeah quite a few trees in his way Let's see what he can do Come on that looks amazing Stand still forehand with a lot of power Very good place to be. Yeah, it looks like nothing can happen to clay right now 25 down He finally made a bar on this back nine And silver a bit deep Come on. And now Jakub scrambling from the left side. Unfortunate skip. Yeah, now he's in a tough spot. Oh, oh no. Yeah, hits that tree, kicks back. Actually lost some ground on that shot, but he's in the fairway now. Throwing three though, so. Yeah, man, he went backwards. Yeah, currently in third place. Not what he was looking for. He's going to have to really finish strong here on this one. Oh, my God. Even the par might be... Well, now it's definitely out of reach. Yeah, par is definitely not an option anymore. And Lauri... Opportunity. He's got four in a row. Oh, wait. No. Oh, too much inside. I like that he had that bogey back there. Sorry. Mm, he's going to... Oh, yeah, yeah. He had the bogey on hole 12. Chance to get some strokes back on on Jakub, but uh, yeah, he didn't really execute that clean of a shot. Now, Jakub's struggling here on this par five. This is going to be a pretty big number for him. He's going to have to dig deep now and yeah, let's see if he's able that damage. Yep, yeah, exactly. Let's see if he's able to save the bogey. That's too much inside us also. Yeah, caught up in those deep woods there, but up near the green. Lauri with a potential flex shot line. 
with an overstable disc. Let's see. Oh no, he's going grenade. Trying to go up over all those trees. Yeah, but that was a misrelease, I'm pretty sure. Looked like he might have had some footing issues, stepped on a stick yeah. or something. Weird choice. Getting creative. Didn't seem to pay off there. Clay, really good commitment on the standstill and. Mm, catching just, late yeah. gardens. Yeah, needed to be a bit deeper. Now, Jakub really needs to get up and down from here. Looks Works good. Works nicely, yeah. Hits the, <laughs> the koozie, man. Perfect touch. Yeah, good recovery after some serious struggles there. Nice band aid shot there. Some VIP. Taking in the action. Yeah, and love in trouble. Able to get out almost edge of the woods. Five meters to save a par. And silver deadly from this distance. Oh, wow, wow. good line just too low. Just missed it low. And so many trees on his way. Same for Clay. Finding a gap in the middle of those thick woods. My oh, God. Great run at it. Hits the cage. This guy has dialed in. So impressive. Can't say oh, enough, really. Oh, yeah. Good putt there. Amazing save from Lowry. Yeah, fantastic par. Another great par. Yeah. Good ones from Silver and Laudy. Good saves. And Jakub with a bogey. Not a bad bogey considering how how tough of a position he was in. That that last shot really saved him. Yeah. Really nice touch on the the approach, fifth shot. And let's roll eight down through fourteen. Easy. And the whole 15 par 3, 135 meters. Death straight at the end of the out of the tee pad. It feels like a 145 meters is slightly uphill all along the way to the basket. You need to try to control the fade or you will end up on that left side. You can be pin high but far left so try to keep it flat as flat as possible and a slight fade control it and let's see what happens yeah another beautiful wooded hole it's proven a very difficult birdie so far on the uh, weekend less than 10 birdies total coming into this lead card let's see if we can get a, get a few more that's a pretty good drive circle two look now Lowry, ooh, hmm. really nice line here. Can he fight through on the right side? He does, he gets a good skip. Excuse me? He went through everything. Yeah. Okay. Just outside the circle now. Yeah, perfect, man. In position to have a bird. And that's definitely a bonus, I'd say. Oh, really totally. hard hole. Totally. Yeah, rounds one and two, only a total of four birdies, so. A little bit more here on the final day. Some people really trying yeah. to figure it out. And there's a look for it as well. Great drive so yeah, far. Man. Great control. Clay is in the zone right now. Jakub trying to bounce mm. back from the bogey, but that's early. He's going to be in a tough spot. Scrambling again. Yeah, too much left side. Yesterday, Silva had an amazing tunnel on that left side. Not the same luck. And situation for Jakob today. Forehand approach from the knee. Oh, does good. real well. Great shot. Super scramble. Gets himself inside the circle. About eight meters left now. Silver. It's been deadly with the stepper. Oh, and almost rings up another one. Very, very close. Front Impressive. cage. Right on line. Play for a real big bonus birdie from about 17 meters. Oh my gosh, right in the heart. 
What a jumper. Okay. Huge putt. Can we have a slow move this? I hope so. That was at least 55 feet, right? What? Check it out. Uphill. Fully committed. Aiming. Firing. That's an absolute perfection of a putt. <laughs> Sweet putt right there. Okay, Edwards. In the zone right now. 26 down. My 26 goodness. down. Four down through six on the back nine. Nine down through 15. Lowry oh, with a yeah. perfect putt there. He has not given up hopes for that second place spot. Yeah, that's a good bird for Lowry. 17 down now. Getting back at Jakob, actually. Yeah. Solo fourth. And I'm pretty sure Dennis is now third from what we were seeing on the scoreboard check. Yeah, and he's chasing a course record now. He's, he's got reached that double-digit mark. Mm. If he can finish strong, he could uh, take that course record title off of Clay from the 10 down yesterday. Yes, sir. And we'll have a split screen just after this hole. We'll be able to see what's going on for Dennis. So, yeah, battle really heating up for the podium. Okay, so we just checked. Dennis is tied third with Lowry at 17 down right now. Chasing a really hot score, man. Yeah, 10 down with one hole to play. Trying to set the mark for that podium spot. Ooh, some hot shooting from the European champ. Yes, sir. So hole 16 right now, par 4, 200 meters, slightly down the all the way. You're trying to bomb something dead straight in the middle of the fairway and then try to get yourself in position to attack the basket yesterday. Uh, and on the first round, Lowry went so far down. He's crushing this drive. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. 4.22 average. He's and we are witnessing another one. Smashed. Oh, and it's a bit shorter than the, the first two days, but still an amazing shot from Lowry. Amazing control. Dead straight, dead center of the, the fairway. He will have a look for the bird. It should be a pretty easy approach for him. Pretty routine up. Clay, looking good, right down the center of the gap. Oh, catching and, those yeah. <laughs> three trees in the middle. That's exactly the trees you're aiming for from the tee pad. You can see them yeah. far in the frame. It's pretty far up the fairway, so you can still get up and down, even if you hit them. Silver comes up just short of them right there. Nicely done. Yeah, good shot from Silver. In position also, not the sweetest spot, but a sweet spot. And latitude so well represented on this tournament. Jakub. Oh my god, messing with the spectators. Good yeah. job guys. A little bit right side. Might be a little out of position, but he got good distance. Could still get the birdie. Again, not opting for the back end. Heiser shot, going for a forehand turnover. A little bit high, maybe. Fades mm. out. Yeah, and a bit early, maybe. And Clay going forehand also. Oh, that must be a really overstable mid range. And oh. sliding down the fairway, the green, pretty good shot in the end, in position to take another green box. Jakub from the edge of the fairway. <laughs> oh, nearly skips it in. My freaking God. Fantastic Almost upshot. Almost skip throw in. Amazing shot, amazing control from Jakub Semerad. Yeah. And Lauri 
for another pretty easy birdie now. He's he's finishing strong. He's really pushing. Again, and it's been the same story for the, the, the past two, two, two rounds, and yeah. it's the same today. Oh, Silver almost got that from way deep in the woods. Yeah, good Deadly, try. Deadly. Long range putting. This is going in. Oh, oh. <laughs> not happy about it. Tickle he wants attention. perfection. Yeah. Give him a good chance. So, battle tightening up. Lowry gains a stroke back on Silver here. Just one between them with two to play. Yeah, it's yeah. getting interesting again, and I'm pretty sure Jakub is taking a birdie also, putting a bit of pressure. Yeah, just just one back of Lowry now. Yeah, trying to get back at Dennis also. Wow, what an exciting battle here now. Those podium spots, a mere formality that Clay will take the victory, but four, yeah. four different players at least battling for those podiums. And just like that, we are at the end, manhole 17, par 3, 135 meters. It's weirdly playing a bit shorter than the 135. Don't ask why, I'm not sure, but uh, Jakub was throwing some 9 speed and was able to go OB behind the basket. Only danger on this hole. So let's see, control the distance. Go for fairway driver, weirdly, you know, I would go for a distance driver all day and try to avoid all those gardens before the basket. Yeah, 3.15 average. Pretty open compared to the other holes through the woods. You're just trying to smash one down there, but yeah, for these big power throwers, you gotta kinda maybe be a little careful not to blow past it like we've seen on the previous rounds of coverage. Lowry snaking it up there. Beautiful shot. It's kind of flirting with some of those trees on the right side, but it stays clean. Yeah, close to perfection. Jakub needing a birdie if he wants to get on the podium. That's all oh, catching some branches. It looked pretty okay. Just a little high. Yeah, just the height that he needed to work on. Branches slowed him down quite a lot and made him fade out early, so... Not looking like a birdie now. Clay. Really great. Hits the base. Are you kidding me? Right to the lock, and he's tapping in another birdie to move to 27 under par. He called it. He called it during the pre-event. 27 down for the winner. He changed his mind because he was following Laudi Lettinen. But he called it 27 that is, down, that is averaging crazy. man nine down, three rounds in a row. He's got another hole to play as well. Crazy average. Man. Just killing it. Yeah, and he's, I think for the moment, 10, 10 rated. It's going to be a big boom for his rating in, at the next update. It's pretty cool for him. Great. And Lowry for another one. You can see a lot of green boxes on this scorecard. Great back nine. It would be a sixth birdie for Lowry. Just one mistake on hole 12. Weird one. Yeah. And Jakub for the par. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he won't be able to have any second spot and any podium is going to be hard now. Yeah. He's still at 17, Lowry. He's 19 down. It's going to be interesting between Silver and Lowry. Let's see how it's going to end. So there is eight strokes between Clay and his two mates. Crazy performance. Yeah. Really nice finishing hole. Running along the railroad tracks with the Tournament Central right there. Lots of OB. Plenty of opportunities for score separation. 2.9 scoring average today. 
yeah oh, it's been such a wild ride man so much fun Let's see how it finishes up here we got still a lot of uh, things to be decided you know what on the other side of the ocean Galen Burr just won with a ton of strokes ahead of the field and it's exactly what's happening here in Europe Norway a couple blowouts this weekend yeah man they put some shows on man legendary performances from the Americans Lowry hanging it up wide right looking for it to stall out on the green goes long on it yeah, rare to see on this one. I haven't seen anybody go past it yet. You know, he's in the bushes, gonna have to, yeah, maybe get down on a knee to try to find a, a way to get in there. So yeah, first birdie opportunity to put a bit of pressure on Silva. Clay going after it. Yeah. Gonna have another birdie look. To go to Sir, and to match, I think, the hot score of the day, knowing that Dennis is 11 down through the 18 holes. Crazy. Isn't it a bit low? Okay. Skips up there, yeah, about outside. 12 meters. He's got a little bit of a small young tree in his way. It might be an issue with the stance. Important shot here for Silver. Battling for second. Currently tied with Lowry. Smashes a forehand. And a good correction compared to the first two rounds. He was too low twice. And this one was almost perfect. A bit more fade, a bit faster. Would have been perfect for Silver. The young tree does prove to be an obstruction. Jakub straddles around it. Comes up just short on the putt. Yeah, nice drive from Jakub. Oh. oh, never a chance on that one. Just too low all the way. And he's <laughs> given Lowry an opportunity to take solo second here. Yeah, man. Lowry. See if he can do it. Clutch up. Oh, oh. it's the top band. Aggressive beat at least. He's Catching gonna, the band. Going to have to settle for a tie. This is for a nine-stroke victory if Clay can put this home. And he does without a doubt. For sure he does. 11 down. What a showing. Look at that, bogey free, six down on the back nine. You know, he's calling it since he's in Europe, you know, but more comfortable in European courses, more technical, more wooded. It suits his game better, and he's pretty sure about it. He's showing it this weekend, and I'm repeating it, but it's two tournaments in a row, two weekends in a row. His card mates are super happy for him, hugs all around. Masterclass performance. Yeah, but on top of the performance, he's a, an amazing dude to hang out with. It's amazing to spend some time with him this weekend. He deserves this. Totally. Shooting 28 down. And pretty cool for Casterclass also. Wow, really making a name for himself over <laughs> here in Europe. And it's just getting started. He's going to be here all summer long. Superstar being born here on MDG Media. Yeah, maybe it's just the click he needed. You know, you never know. And I think we can confirm, but it was a 10.59 rated, you know, average down. throughout the weekend. Crazy, and 11 down on the last round. Shootout to Dennis also, scoring yeah, okay. and matching the, the 11 down score. Gonna share that course record. Amazing stuff, man. What a joy it's been to follow this along. Thanks so amazing. much. Yeah, I, I'm just smiling for nothing. It's crazy. <laughs> I really enjoyed this. Beautiful, beautiful disc golf. Yeah. Beautiful Norway. Thanks so much, MDG Media, for producing such high-quality coverage and for having me in the booth. It's been so much fun, man. Pleasure. And thank you for everybody that makes this possible. You know, we, won't, we wouldn't be able to do that without the support. 